Hello everyone, this is April with Stitch Upon a Star and welcome back to my channel. I made my first video of this bow, which I will actually put the link in the description below if you want to learn how to make this. And everyone wanted to learn how to make this uh, messy bun beanie. So that's what I will be teaching you guys how to make today. Here is a few different color tombos that I've I've made. It's really cute. And here's a gray one. So all you need to know how to do for this project is a slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, and a double crochet. And what you'll need is a pair of scissors. A size I 5.5 millimeter hook, a stitch marker, a darning needle, hair tie, and instead of using one thick hair tie, I use two thinner hair ties just in case one of the hair ties breaks. It won't ruin your, your beanie. You can still use it. And I actually prefer using the elastic rather than chains like some other people because once this is around your hair or on your head and your hair is around it, you can't even see it. And I haven't had any complaints. So I just prefer it because it just kind of goes around your beanie and then it closes back up or your bun and then closes back up. So this is the kind of hair ties that I have. They're 100 pieces. I got them at probably Rite Aid or Walgreens for four, maybe five dollars. So it's not bad. And then today in this tutorial I'll be using this yarn. It's a medium worsted yarn and it's Premier Deborah Norville Everyday Collection and it's in the Lagoon color. So grab your things and let's get hooking. The first thing you're going to do is tie a knot around the bands, the hair ties. I just think it holds it secure, so I like to do that. And then you're going to go under the hair ties, pull up your yarn, and chain one. Then you're going to do 36 single crochets around the hair ties, working over this tail here. And if you never worked with hair ties before, it's, it can be kind of tricky to hold. But what I do is I hold them like this so that I can have a little bit of control over it. And then I start doing my single crochets, just like so. So go under them, grab a yarn, do a single crochet. So you're going to want to do 36 of those all the way around and I will do the same thing and then I will meet you back when I am finishing up this round okay okay I just finished my last single crochet and now what you're going to do is slip stitch to join in the first single crochet. Let's see that. Slip stitch to join in that first single crochet. There we go. Then I'm going to pull my tail a little. Okay. Now you're going to chain two and half double crochet into that same stitch. And then you're going to do one half 
double crochet in each stitch all the way around. I don't know if you can hear the yarn squeaking, but that is like a pet peeve of mine. And I am in a crochet group on Facebook and I asked how to get rid of that and someone told me to rub, uh, run your hook, the metal part, through your hair by your scalp and it actually does work. It sounds weird, but it, it does work. So anyhow, just wanted to give you that little tip in case I don't know any other way to get rid of that squeaking sound. So just finish up with your half double crochets around and I will meet you back. Okay, so I am done with the 36 half double crochets all around. And now I'm going to slip stitch skipping these two chains here, the first two chains there, and I'm going to slip stitch right into the top of this first half double crochet. And now you're going to chain two and do two half double crochets into the same stitch. One, two, and now you're going to half double crochet one into the next three stitches. That's one, two, three, and then half into the next one, or two halves into the next one. And then one half into the next three. One, two, and three. And then two halves into the next. And then one half double into the next three. And then keep going in that same pattern until you reach the end. Okay, I went around until I got to my last four stitches and for the last four you're going to do two here and then one half double crochet into the next three. And if it doesn't work out exactly like that, then somehow you miscounted somewhere along the way. So, which happens. Um, so anyhow, now we're going to close up this round by slip stitching again into this first double crochet. And then you're going to chain two to start up round four. And then again, you're going to do two half doubles right into this first and same stitch. And then you're going to do four half doubles into the next four stitches. So that's two, three, and four. So you got your first two with your chain your first two and then one two three four and then two half doubles to the next one and then again you're gonna do one half double into the next four and then two half doubles into the next one keep going in that order and I'll meet you back when you have five stitches left Okay, I'm down to my last five stitches. So in this one, you're going to double crochet or half double crochet two times. And then one half double crochet into the last four stitches. Put 
one, two, three, four, okay. And then we're going to join the round by slip stitching into the top of the first double crochet. Okay. And now it says to chain two and half double crochet twice into the first stitch again. And then we're going to half double crochet one in the next five stitches. So here's the first one, two, three, four, five, and then two in the next one. And then keep going in that order. So five and then two, five and then two. And then I'll meet you back when you have six stitches here at the end. Okay, I'm back to my last six stitches. I'm gonna do two half double crochets right here. And then one half double crochet in the next five stitches to end the round. One, two, three, four, five, and again we're going to slip stitch to join into the double crochet there. And this will be our last round of half double crochets and what we're going to do is just do got a, a knot in my yarn here is do one half double crochet in each stitch around so to start though we're going to chain two and go into that same stitch and do a half double crochet and then one half double crochet into each one all the way around. So go ahead and finish that up and then I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I finished up uh, the half double crochets all the way around and now I'm going to go into the top of the double crochet to join with a slip stitch. Now we're going into the double crochet rounds. So this is gonna be a little different. The chain twos are actually counting as a double crochet in this round. So for the first round, we're going to chain two and we're going to double crochet two times into the next stitch. Not the same stitch as we were before, but the next stitch right there, two double crochets. And then you're going to skip two chains or two stitches and do three double crochets into the next stitch. Skip two and do three into the next. You're going to continue that all the way around. So skip two, three into the next. So keep doing that until you reach the end and I will show you how to finish this round. Oops, okay, I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, I just went around and now I'm going to do my last cluster of double crochet. So I'm skipping these two and I'm going to go into the next one and do three double crochets. And 
and then just get this and this and then you're actually gonna go into the chain this time so this is the first chain this is the second one you're gonna go right into the top of that and slip stitch right there to join the round and then you're going to do two chains and skip all these doubles and go right into this space right here and do three double crochets right here and then again you're going to skip the clusters and go into the space and do a cluster of three double crochets and you're going to continue that all the way around and I will meet you back so I can show you how to join this round and start the next one. I'll be back. Okay, I just finished up and I'm here at this point. So what you're going to do to finish this round is you're going to do two double crochets into this space here where your chain two is so you're gonna go right into there and you're gonna do one and then two and then you're going to join into the second the top of the second chain so right into here and that is a cluster right here and then on this round, you're going to chain two, and then you're going to do your three clusters, or your two double crochets to make your three cluster into this stitch right here. So you will do that. And it will alternate every other round. So this next round, you will end like this, and after, or yeah. Uh, before this this chain two and then the next round it will be after the chain two so and then once you get that you can just go ahead and keep going around again and um, do these cluster double crochets in each space all the way around and you're going to end up doing seven rows of these double crochets. It's actually a preference thing. If you want a, um, if you want a, a sh like thicker brim, you'll do seven rows. If you want um, a, a thinner brim and more of these, then you'll do you'll do eight rows of the clusters. It's just a preference. So here I have a thinner a thinner brim. So just whatever it is that you like, how you like it, it's a preference thing. So anyhow, keep on going and I will meet you at the next round. Okay, so I'm coming to the end of round nine and I'm going to do the three double crochet cluster right here in the last space. And as you can notice, there's already a three cluster here. So all I'm gonna do is slip stitch into the top of the chain two. Like so. And to start round 10, or round one, two, three, four of the clusters, I'm just gonna chain two. And then I'm going to skip these and go into the next space for the three double crochet clusters. So then the two double crochets with the chain will be right here before the chain two on this next round. Okay, so let's do the first clusters. First cluster here and keep going around and I will meet you back 
to show you how to join this round. Be back. Okay, so I just finished up this last cluster here and I'm to my chain two. So I need to make that a cluster. So I'm going to go into that space and do two double crochets. And then I'm going to chain or slip stitch into the second chain. One, two to join again. And now I will be starting my fifth round of my double crochet clusters. And here we will be doing the double crochets, right? The two double crochets right after the chain two to make that cluster. And three double crochet clusters once again all the way around. So I will meet you back in just a second. Okay, I'm back again and I'm going to do my last cluster here, double crochets, and then I'm going to join, and chain two, oops, I think I'm going to, and then do my doubles into the next space. And then I'm going to keep going and do a couple more rounds. I think I'm going to do a thinner brim on this one. So more of a thinner brim. And so I think I'm going to go ahead and do eight uh, rows of these, or rounds of these double crochets. So why don't you do that? Or if you want to do seven round, or yeah, seven rounds of the double crochets and have a thicker brim, you can do that too. Just whichever you prefer. And then I will come back when I'm ready to teach you how to do the, the brim. So I'll meet you back here. Okay guys, I finished up um, this round. It's, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rounds of the three double crochet clusters. So now I'm going to finish this round for you guys to see. Oops, if I'm in frame there, sorry. So there's my two doubles and then this chain two will make my three. And now we're going to start our, our brim rounds. This is when you will need a stitch, a uh, stitch marker. So, well, actually the next round you will. Okay. So to start this, you're going to chain one and then you're going to single crochet right in that same stitch. And right here, you're going to, Get, squeeze your hook into this stitch right here. Do you see that? And you're going to chain one there. You're going to chain one in each of the stitches all the way around. So let me just show you some here. Even the stitch in between the clusters because that's part of the double crochet. So you're going to keep going all the way around. And I will meet you back when I'm about to do the last single crochet of this round. So I can show you how to in this one and start the next round for the brim. Okay, so I'll meet you back in a second. 
Okay, so I'm up to my last stitch here. So I'm going to do one single crochet in there. And this is where you are going to need your stitch marker because in these rounds, we will be, uh, we won't be joining them. We will just be working in the back loops of the single crochets and not joining. So you'll need a stitch marker to know which one you went into. So let's go right into this first one, the back loop. So when you have, actually, and I think that one is my, yeah, that's my chain, so it's gonna be this one. So you have, um, when you have a, a, a crochet, single crochet, there's two loops here. There's a front loop, and then there's a back loop, and most of the time you go through the whole thing to make a single crochet or to make your next uh, stitch. But in this brim, to make this, this effect, it's real pretty. This is how you do it. You, you do it into this back loop only. So I'm gonna go ahead and go right in there and do a single crochet into the back loop only. Then, because we are not joining these these rounds, I'm going to put a slip stitch there, or a, excuse me, a stitch marker there, so I know which one was my first one. And then each row, as I go up, I'm going to move it up. So when I end, when I'm done, and I'm ready to end the round, I'll know which one was the one, the, la the first one, I guess you can say. So anyhow, okay, so let's just keep going and you're going to single crochet into the back loop only in each single crochet around. Okay, and I will finish up and meet you back. So I'm here at the end of this round and I'm just going to show you how to keep working in the round and not joining. So here's the last uh, single crochet I'm going to go into until I hit my first one. And here is my first one that I did. So I'm going to take the slip stitch or the stitch marker out. And then instead of doing a slip stitch to join, you're just going to keep going like regularly, like regular. So you're just going to go into the back loop and do a single crochet. And then you're going to take your stitch marker and put that right there so I know it's the first one again. And then I'm going to go ahead and do four of these rounds all together. And then my hat will be complete. If you want it a little longer, if you need it a little longer, you could try it on, see what works for you. You can do another round or two. It's just up to you which what fits you. So I'm going to keep doing this and I'm going to do my rounds and then I'll meet you back and show you how to finish up this hat. See you in a few minutes. Okay, I am back and I am going to show you how I would finish up this round. So I'm going to single crochet into the back loop of this last crochet or last single crochet and then there's going to be two two more single crochets well there's going to be one more until I reach until I reach the first single crochet but because I'm going to be doing the invisible join method I am going to then just pull my yarn out like this and I, then I'm going to take my darning needle and thread it with the yarn. And now I am going to do the join. So what you do is you skip this one right here and you go right into the one, the first single crochet. You take your stitch marker out and then you pull it through like so and then you go back into let's see so you pull it through and then you go back into this 
loop, the back loop only, and then you pull it through, and this makes a, looks like a, there's just another single crochet there. So you can't even tell that it has been joined at all. It's called the invisible join. And I just figured it out. I haven't been crocheting very long, so actually only two years. So I just figured that out about, I don't know, a month or two ago, and I actually really love it. So especially with brims like this, when you can really tell there's like a little hump usually. But yeah, so this one, you can't even tell where it was, where it was joined. So yeah, and then I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to just go ahead and um, weave in my ends and I'm done. This hat is done and I made a a white bow. So I'm going to finish doing that in a second, but I'm just going to show you. I made a white bow to go on this one and I think that it is adorable with this white bow here. So yeah, if you guys have any questions at all, you can comment and I would be more than happy to help you. And if you need help with anything else, just let me know. So, all right, well you guys, happy hooking. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and share this video if you know anyone who would like to make this happen.